Hey guys, welcome back to Friend of Me, I'm Ian, and we are back with more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I know this episode was last week's episode, and the finale, the two-part finale is this this week, and I will do my best, I say that again, my best, to get at least one part up this weekend, uh, before the weekend. Uh, yep. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, the last episode that I watched, um, Daisy's mom was killed by Nath Nathaniel. Do you want to say Nathan? Same thing, but I just I don't know. Anyway, he she, he killed he killed wow Nathaniel killed Daisy's mom, Zhang Yang. Um, they took with John Garrett's help, uh, Simmons. They teleported away. Um. Sybil wanted her all along so that they can get the fits. Not sure how that's gonna. I mean, they could probably like scan her body with technology that now with the Zephyr and Sybil combined, they can probably scan her body for the thing if they don't already know what, that it's, that she has it, and then find extract information of uh where uh, Fitz's location from her. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, it's not looking great, guys. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I mean they're obviously not gonna win, considering it's the series finale. We gotta win, and I know that series isn't this episode, but still. Um, what else? I mean, I think that's it. You must be Daisy. Where did they take Simmons? Daisy, that's enough. Not until she talks. Put her down, Agent Johnson. That's an order. I want to be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. What? We're all alone up here. <laughs> Didn't plan on Deke, buddy boy. Sybil should have seen that coming. Maybe she did. We'll see. Just like Nakatomi Plaza. Decently spotted the first second, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You be gay, eh? I'm supposed to be able to see whatever memory I want. You are blocking me. How? I'm not doing anything. Maybe it's you. <laughs> Maybe I'm not equipped to... Oh! Yeah. Tell me how. John, bring in the grandson. Deke, he's here. I'm trying to play hero. He doesn't know anything. Please, you can't... <clears throat> Sybil dropped Cora in my lap because they knew I'd want to save her. The thing is, I already have a sister to save. Her name is Gemma Simmons. Oh. <laughs> as long as you know what you're doing. Uh-oh. <laughs> you have flown this thing before, right? A few times. <laughs> A time? <laughs> That's your last chance to stay behind. Oh boy. Buckle up, Susan. <laughs> How are you gonna get the hangar doors open? Without director authorization. Uh-oh. Is everybody gonna come? <laughs> if we're gonna beat Sybil, we, we have to be unpredictable. We can't... We can't play by her rules. But, I mean... Can't you see, like, the different variations, I thought? How's this for unpredictable? You're opening the... Authorization granted. Are you coming with, or are you just opening... Now, give me that seat before I change my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if... I crack her skull, put her in a coma, and then go fishing around in her brain. Stop! How is she blocking me from Fitz? Damage. <laughs> Never mind. If you think that you can... No! That's for my old man. And lowered our firewalls for Sybil. Hacker's not there. 
Now look, we have these things called phones. Now I know, I know you millennials like to use them just for taking pictures of yourselves, <laughs> but in the 80s, we actually used them to talk to each other. I'm serious, what, we're not just gonna turn into the people who used to work together and, you know, well, hey, I'm in town and we used to be close a long time ago, that's... Sounds like we might. Mac, you guys are my family. I don't know who I am without you guys. No, Daisy. No, it's... You know exactly who you are with anyone. <laughs> really subtle. Stop. Cool. <laughs> in, the, in the time loops, we kind of kiss. Mm. Whatever, he's a dork. You see, that's messed up because he doesn't remember that. <laughs> then why are you smiling? Because yo yo owes me $20. <laughs> find that little wizard myself. The more you dig, the deeper Fitz will go until he's disappeared completely. Then the race is on. I hope he runs to freaking Leopold somehow. He loves if he moves, Hermione. kill him. Oh my god, okay, 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 you got me. And the automatic lock, sir. You punch her Shield out. killed him once. Well, I suppose that's one way to go. What's the first name? Yo-Yo. Why not? Let's hear them. She's gonna go kill. Let's at least point her in the right direction. There's no name that comes free of consequence. We have to grant Ward. Are we gonna see him? He's just a child right now. Oh, yeah. You're Love not you. against killing kids. So much pain can be averted with one death. What are your intentions? Sir? Oh, 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 oh no! Look, Daisy. <laughs> the talk. I don't have any intentions. Well, then you better get some. And quick. Because this thing is coming for you. This thing? I'm happy she's ready to dive back in, and I'm happy it's you. I like you. You seem like a good man. Oh, thanks. Sir. Even if you're a little, you know, straight ahead. Wait, you say fat? But... I'm not about to let her get hurt again. You hear what I'm saying? I think so. Yes, sir. I think you're threatening me, sir. No. Sir. Make it not pop. just me. Every member of this team. And we have technology at SHIELD that you've never even seen. I hear you. Loud and clear. <laughs> Do you not hear how hilarious that sounds? Quick. <laughs> I don't know. I do know. <sighs> Much better. I have to admit, I might be getting a bit jealous. Of all the time you two are spending together. Fitz, I think we may be close to a working design. I missed him so well, much. I'm not. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Enoch. Can give us a moment. Yes? Hello, Enoch. Oh, to yourselves. <laughs> we could just be. Is this about the blood work? No. And yeah. But because we deserve it. It's okay, she can heal. And that's her power. She just, she just needs some help. Just take my energy. Come on. Take my energy. Go on. You have to be strong, okay? And if you remember, you won't be able to be strong to do what you have to do. No, no, no. Where are we? You can't ask me to do this. Saying goodbye is hard enough. Yeah, but you won't remember what you've forgotten. You won't know. Where are you? But I'll feel the guilt inside, the guilt for having left a part of me being torn away. I don't want to forget. Okay. I don't want to hey, forget. I don't want okay. to forget. I don't want to forget. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, I promise. I don't want to forget. 
ba a baby or? Are you okay? Am I okay? Are you okay? What happened in there? I'm guessing from his attitude that he didn't find Fitz. Fitz? Who's Fitz? Oh no. You think you feel what's inside me? Yes. She is a way better fighter than you are, lady. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, she just neo <laughs> Are you being funny? Uh, is it funny? Not if that's what you'd like to be called. Quake. I... The press called me that. I, I you should probably put a Q on your utility belt. So people know it's you. <sighs> that's really smart. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make fun of the person who can literally turn you to dust. Yeah. You can quake me. No, I get it. That's why they call you that. That's why he came up here. Oh. The call reinforcements. Good to hear from you. We thought that base was decomposed. No. Oh my god. They're doing it. They're destroying shields. Freaking kidding! How are we supposed to do? Th we have to try and travel or something. So, I unless they time travel, I don't know how they can. Stop that from happening. They've taken them all out. This is gonna be one heck of a night. I have no idea what 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 the plan is here. There's so much to just unravel. But we got finally, finally got Fitz. Even though it was like flashback, but it was like her her flashing back, not just. Us flashing back to old old scenes in these in the seasons, which we also got, which was great. Really happy we had to see stuff from season back in season one and season three. But it was so good to have him, to have Ian back in, to have Fitz back in the show, <laughs> even if it was like little bits. But so. Is it that they have a baby? Maybe? Is that what she's forgetting? What, what she does? But, oh god! She doesn't even remember who Fitz is right now! And how, I'm just still confused as to how they didn't age. Because apparently it's been a long time. Like, did Enoch do something to kind of keep them from aging? Are they in, that, in an area that keeps them from aging? Are they in like a pocket? I don't know. But he also says, they also said, blah. Is something about the blood work? Was it be, was it saying like whether she was pregnant? Is that what that blood work was about? So I was worried like if there was somebody who was like if he was dying, if Fitz was dying, but it might have been the fact that she was pregnant, and now they have the kid, but they had her forget it just to keep their to keep maybe Deke. I'm assuming it would be Deke safe. God, I hate I hate it. It was I hated this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was they did a great job like, of of having some bits of humor and like kind of silliness in it, like the, with what with Susan. Well, <laughs> first off, with with Mac going, what are your intentions with Daisy? It's like, oh no, we're getting into the talk. And Susan is a he's a relatively built guy, but there's Mac who could like accordion. Susan down to like half his size, but yeah, that and then the following conversation of 
um, you know, her name, her going by date, by Daisy, by Quake, or having the moniker of Quake, and then finding that kind of ridiculous and hilarious, just because of the fact that she has like a, a I guess, a moniker in the first place. Um, but I mean, hey, they had Captain America. I mean, Quake's not that strange. It's just a, a Quake. But I mean, even then, like intermingling, like that bit, like the first when he thought asked what his intentions with Daisy were, um, and saying like, well, you better have intentions, or you better get started, whatever he said, because that thing's coming for you, <laughs> and that. You know, obviously Mac was going into that she's been hurt. And she doesn't want, they don't want her going through that again. And not, but he wouldn't just have him to deal with. Although this is going back into like kind of silly, funny moment. Um, but like the whole shield team, which like each one person would be, ter well, a couple people on their own would be terrible for him, for Susan to deal with. Mac. Nope. May, definitely not. Coulson, who's now a Chronicom, or a, a LMD, is a robot fist, will punch you in the face. Not good. Um, Yo-Yo, definitely not good. Essentially, everybody except for, I mean, Simmons is pretty, she's gotten pretty <laughs> uh, dark in the later her later years. Not really later. As, as the seasons have gone on, she's gotten a little more... Uh, a little more dark, take less crap. Um, but Deke would kind of probably, even though in the past, he, like in the, when we first met him, he was kind of, eh, he didn't really do any torturing. But, you know what I mean, um, the least threatening is kind of Deke. But yeah, definitely all of them together would not be. <laughs> it's just, Sousa, he's better, he better watch himself. Um, but no, I mean, Sousa, don't really have much doubt that he'd be a, a good person and would do his best not to hurt, not to, uh, not to hurt Daisy. But, um, but then, you know, obviously the other crap going throughout the freaking episode, one being the fact that they rained Hellfire on all of the bases and just completely obliterated them each with one shot. I don't know how. Like I know they said we're in a timeline now, and uh, Enoch said this is the last the, the uh, mission for the for the team. Uh, it's not because of this, is it? This isn't what kind of stops them. Like once they once they finish this mission, once they take care of the Chronicoms and Sybil and Nathaniel, it's just. No more shield at all. And I hated <sighs> that scene with Mac and, and Daisy as well. About the team kind of going their own ways, not being as close. I mean, they could still hang out. Like, I don't know why they have to stop being so close just because they're no longer a part of, a, you know, shield. They can just hang out normally. I know there's happen a lot whenever you leave a team like that, but I mean, why do you have to live in completely different areas? And I would assume you would have ways to call in, like, Zephyrs or Quinjets and maybe bring you guys quick, uh, together quickly for to hang out and crap, I don't know. And I hate thinking about that, too. I just, not just in terms of the show, of the, of the team in, in the show. But the actors, like they, a lot of them have spent the entirety of the show together. Mac came in in the second season, so I mean he's pretty much been with the show the whole entire time as well. Her uh, Henry, Henry, Henry did. Um, the latest one was uh, Jeff, Jeff Ward, and. Still, I mean, they hurt. He, they've all gotten real close as well with with him. 
uh, him and Daisy, or sorry, him and uh, Chloe and Elizabeth. Like, I don't like this, the idea. I mean, I know it happens sometimes, especially with you know, the fact that you're not no longer going to be in that same space 24 7 for months, like almost the entire year. But, I don't know. I mean, her, Jeff and Chloe are still pretty close. I mean, what before the whole COVID thing, they would hang out off set, like during their break. Same with Chloe and, and Chloe and Elizabeth. Um, I mean, those three are really the ones that hung out the most together. Off, off set. <sighs> but it's kind of not really. <laughs> Sorry, it has nothing to do with that. I just hate the idea of, like, as they were talking about that, like, they're not really going to be around each other, not going to be as close because of the team. There's going to be no more team. I don't. It's almost like it's alluding to that being the same way with the actual. I don't think that's what they were saying, but I mean, my, it, more so just like preparing the audience. Like, this is it. They're not going to be together anymore. I hate this. It's in a few more. It's gonna be a few more hours for me before I watch it. Oh man, stop recording. <laughs> anyway, freaking Cora, dude. I, I was really hoping that. I mean, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be easy. But I was really hoping that we could somehow make her see what Nathaniel was. I mean, she might still. I mean, there was it almost seemed like some kind of hesitance, but maybe she's just like. Fully gone now. I don't know, but considering that she, they're apparently a thing, which I just felt really weird about that. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, I'm, I mean, obviously, Nathaniel's just using her, which sucks. Considering that you know she saw that he he killed her mom, and she's still going with them. But again, maybe she just. Maybe she's planning something to to finish to kill him. I don't. I don't know. She's in denial. But, uh, she screwed. She. Oh man. I'm not really sure. Like was Sybil? I'm assuming she planned for the for Daisy and them to leave. Like she had. She gave. Uh core that line so that Daisy would like, alright, I'm going to stray from this path since you predicted this, but but I mean like, Sybil can, she can see the different strands, not just one single single path. It's just like, which percentage is what? And she did say sister. Chloe, or sorry, Daisy was just like, I already have a sister. Gemma Simmons, which I love that line. It was great. It warmed him heart, but Maybe that's what Sybil was saying too. Um, maybe even Cora knew that. I mean, I don't know what Daisy could have done if she was there in the first place. Because, I mean, Sybil's an AI that's probably a little more intelligent to get past Daisy's hacking. <clears throat> it's, uh, the only reason Coulson can is because he's technology now. Really advanced. He's essentially an AI, AI as well. So it was AI versus AI. And that's why he was able to like process her coding and what it was bad. Um decipher, you know, that she was looking for uh, different shield locations and why she found them. she was looking for them. Found out she they went to space to freaking meet with the Chronicoms, which apparently they sent a signal to years ago, which so that they can make preparations and and uh make new additions to their fleet. Yeah. When they mentioned Ward, I got really excited. I was like, oh, are we going to see Ward again? Fine. Like, we didn't get to see him in the fifth season or the sixth season. Right? In the fifth? Yeah, we didn't really get to see him. Like, like, I saw like a flash of Ward in the like 100th episode. But it's just like, Brett Dalton is just such a great actor. And I was hoping, you know, I, it, it's all, it, it's hilarious whenever they kept bringing him back in, in, in one way or another. Like in the fourth season, there's just a different version of him in the framework. I was just hoping that they could bring him back. For the last season, maybe they will in the, the somewhere in the last two episodes, but until then, I. Uh, but I mean, I, I didn't even think about it, like it's in the '80s. He's gonna be a kid essentially. Um, Garrett didn't. Like he, Garrett found him when when Garrett was 
pretty old, relatively old. Um, and then by that point, uh, Brett was, not Brett, sorry, uh, Ward was a teenager, I believe. So, yeah, he, he was super young by that point. Um, so, like, I know they said that we're in a new timeline, which, you know, we kind of like got considering the massive amount of changes that were made. Like a, one that Nathaniel brought on, and the Chronicoms just themselves. Are we not gonna like able to get back to the original one? Like, is there a way if they're on a different timeline? Like, it's is it separate now? Kind of like the whole the multiverse thing. Is there a way for them to jump over? Like, they made time machines. Are they gonna, would they be able to make something that would cross over into a different? Timeline, and then maybe get to the to a to the timeline where Max's parents still alive. I don't know. And where all this crap didn't happen either, and the world's not met. Well, not the world isn't necessarily messed up, but you know. And then get to the timeline. At least maybe that shield's still alive. Maybe that's what they're. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't. I mean, I just. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to edit this quickly so I can maybe get to the so maybe I'll watch the the finale tonight. Hopefully, we'll see how things go. Oh god, I can't! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the last two episodes of the series. It's the last two episodes of the series, guys. You probably I, mean, I know you've already watched it by this point. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> it hasn't fully hit me yet, but like in it, it's oh my god. Okay, I don't, I don't know how we're gonna fix this. Like, can we? Or is it just this now? That's how. Why there's no more team after this? They just you know decided to go just to dissolve the team. We have to get Fitz back somehow. I mean, we have to. We can't just have Fitz here and then not get him back fully. Maybe we can go. To, I don't. I, I, I don't know. That's that's it for this episode, guys. We're about to go straight into the finale. I can't believe this is this this is it. This is the end of the series. <sighs> well, I hope you stick around. Subscribe if you want to stick around for that, or just I guess check back later. I don't know. Patreon for catch up series stuff. You might know the drill. See you guys. <laughs>